Assalamu alaikum students my name is Bakar Hasan and today we will discuss climate justice and sustainable development this concept is gaining ground nowadays as it has become the topic of the contemporary era climate justice is an idea that explains the fact that the developed world is responsible for the climate change that the earth is witnessing nowadays developed world in order to run the economies has used fossil fuels which brought a complete change in the climate patterns of the world unfortunately the impacts of climate change are disastrous for the developing countries many developing countries are facing the wrath of climate change and the recent floods in pakistan are a case in point therefore the concept of climate justice demands that the developed world must assist the developing countries through financial aid to mitigate the impact of climate disaster moreover it demands that developed world must restrict the use of fossils to contain the level of carbon emission which is causing change in climate moreover it also demands that the developed world must assist the developing countries by providing them with the required technological tools to counter climate change therefore the concept of climate justice is the only hope for this world to survive in the years to come otherwise change in climate might bring disaster consequences for the developing countries the concept of climate justice is closely linked to the concept of sustainable development if we fail to achieve climate justice the world will fail to maintain sustainable development climate justice is the only hope for the developing countries to protect their tourism sector to protect their cities to protect their infrastructure to help the poverty ridden people to save the precious lives to make it happen for their population to survive amid the negative consequences of climate change so climate justice is mandatory for ensuring sustainable development for the developing countries nowadays developing countries are facing the worst impacts of climate change the recent floods in pakistan have wreaked havoc across the country affecting millions and taking many precious lives moreover the floods resulted in the damage of infrastructure as well the situation in the other developing countries is not very much different many small island states they might vanish away from the map of the world as a result of climate change many cities that are located near the coastline they might see the impact of climate change in the years to come the developed world must realize this fact that peace in the world cannot be attained if this discrimination continues to wreak havoc on the developing countries Developing countries they already face multiple challenges. People in the developing countries they live in poverty. Developing countries they also have to pay debt. Developing countries they lack the required infrastructure that is mandatory for the well-being of the people. And in the case of climate disaster, the possibility for developing countries to achieve prosperity will become a far cry. On the other hand, developed states have attained progress and prosperity. and they have exploited the resources of the world by all means the economic competition between different developed states such as china and usa and russia it forced them to use fossil fuels that invited the curse of climate change it is a fact that many developing countries have not contributed much in the carbon emissions most of the contribution in the carbon emissions comes from the developed world but the consequences are worse for the developing countries inflation is rising in all the developing countries there is a threat of emerging food crisis the tourism industry of many developing countries is under threat the economies of developing countries are suffering the consequences people are losing jobs the concept of gender parity is fading away there is an increase in the crime rate moreover the governments of the developing countries are in a difficult situation because with the limited resources they have it is impossible to mitigate the consequences of climate change so the concept of climate justice calls for a serious action on the part of the developed world by assisting the developing countries the developed world needs to assist the developing countries by providing financial aid technological aid and by mitigating 
or by restricting their carbon emissions. So the world becomes a peaceful place for all the inhabitants of this planet. So the development, especially in the developing countries, will not sustain if climate keeps on haunting the developing countries. And sustainable development will never be achieved if the concept of climate justice is not implemented in natural spirit. Therefore, the world must take it seriously and the concept of climate justice needs immediate action. This is the only way forward for ensuring growth, prosperity and peace on this planet. Thank you so much.